This is the moment that every mixed martial arts athlete hopes will materialize the number one heavyweight contender making the walk for his first title fight here in the U.S. I mean, the nerves are going crazy for this man right now. He's so nervous. Has he done everything he needs to do? Has he not left any stone unturned? He says that he has prepared. He says that his body's ready. His mind's ready. He feels physically good in the spot. He's taking on a long-rated champion. If he's going to get this done, it's going to take something truly special. He does not believe jitters will be a factor here tonight. He has built his career methodically to this point. We'll see if we hear the words and new by night 10. John Jones enters the octagon with his mind set on one thing tonight, that UFC championship belt. Well, as much respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes, there is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. You've been there. You've done that. Baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that proudly. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled. He's so dangerous. He's so scary. And he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. And now let's get you our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> doing his able best to avoid the ground and pound here. Nice job by Johnny Bone. Lands a big elbow there. Arch a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. 
you can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective. Back mount now. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Oh, he's got a choke. Oh, that rear naked choke attempt is tight. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Another ground and pound strike lands. While sometimes our stack guys are stingy with the submission attempt numbers, there have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler and he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. Good movement defensively here on the ground by Jones. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. He's going to be trying to get back to his feet. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Fighter trying to pass here, ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Oh, crowd just loving it as the fighters, after an extended grappling battle, make their way back to the field. Yeah, they're back on their feet. They spent a lot of energy on the ground. These guys are going back and forth on the ground, and ultimately, he's gotten back to his feet to give himself an opportunity. Down by him there as he lands another one. He's keeping the stat guys busy tonight. I mean, over and over, take down the tip. Setting up an arm bar now. Oh, that's tight. You gotta be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He was able to withstand the fire. Now he finds himself out and safe. Jones is attempting to pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Print the shirts. Ground and pound. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Oh, nice. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Johnny Buck. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. The ground strike's starting to pile up. That guillotine is tight. Oh, how on God's green earth did he get out? Pretty productive with the strikes here off his back. Big right hook there by the champ. Tonight, good work here by Jones. All right, he's got him in the north-south position now. I know the crowd thinks it's funny when this happens, but if you're the bottom fighter, uh, nothing funny about it. It's not funny. This is not a fun position to be in in fighting. You've got to try and change immediately because you are carrying someone's weight, whether it's their bottom half weight or the top half. You are carrying their weight, whether you got their armpit in your face or you got their legs over the top of you it is Listen. not comfortable so you need to be trying to move make them make a decision a determination as to what they're trying to accomplish and then you try and counter it all right a lot of high level striking action in that last round daniel take us through it if you will tit for tat who has the best chin it seemed as though they were looking for that answer both guys took risk what a fantastic round Ready to fight? Ready. All right, second round underway. All right, here we go. Our next round is underway. And how about the submission defense on that young man in the previous round? He's so well versed in all areas of mixed martial arts. Now was on full display as he defended a real deep submission. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. 
Takedown defense holds up. Jones is in half guard. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list his performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. In the half guard. Lands with the ground and pound. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Jones. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Nice job by him to still be a threat off of his back. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Big elbow there, Lance. Nice positional control here. from the top here by Johnny Bone. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style Block. gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fight. All right, close guard now. Oh, you got to watch him attack his submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. Never seen him be in a great position to finish the triangle. Armbar. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Jones is in half court. Nice job to reverse position there on the ground, and now we'll see what he can do with the dominant position. Now inside the close guard. And he's going to try to find ways to and move to a submission. And there you go, again, half guard. Oh, bleeding from his cheek now. Damage done. Nice shots landing from the top position. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Getting the ball here. You have to be so well-rounded once you get to the top of these divisions. You cannot just be a knockout guy. You got to be able to change it up if you find yourself in this situation that he's in right now. Well, that was a high-level extended battle on the ground. Now, though, the athletes back to their feet. And no surprise the crowd responds in time. The crowd just loves whenever they get two high-level strikers going at it. It was very hard to get back up after getting taken down. But he's got there now. Let's see if he can take advantage of it. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Jones. Round three next. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive wrestling. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy 
maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking them down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat. Both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fight. So we'll see if he goes for another takedown here, and it's the way he's approaching the seven two that I think you've liked so far. I love it, man. I love how he's throwing the left hook and almost pulling himself into his shot. Punch goes as the opponent's hands go up, drives himself into the guy to try and secure a takedown. Truly, truly high-level striking mixed with unbelievable wrestling. Oh! You go here. How about the speed with which he is able to just toss his opponent to the mat? The moment they came close, he knows. I got to fire in my hips, load you up, and throw you. That's exactly what he did. All right, this position now, what we call the north-south. If you're the bottom fighter, what are you trying to do to get out of harm's way? Man, it's tough on the bottom. It's very tough because everything hurts, right? right? It doesn't matter that they're not completely driving the shoulder in. It just, everything hurts. So you wait for your opponent to go to his next action. And when he does, you go and attack the hands. You get to your knees and you attack the hands with both hands and try to peel the lock so you can get to your feet. Oh, the ground and pound is coming. Good movement to avoid some of that power coming back. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. That was a slick transition. Making all these shots count. Great shot from the top position. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Now he's going full mount. Oh, arm triangle attempt now. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. You can work out inside the position. He got a ton of options. He goes knees on belly. He's postured up. He's landed big ground pump. He has to move on the bottom or the fight's going to get stopped. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack triangle. Oh, right into mount. He's got to be careful here. Postures up now and lands a vicious head strike. Fighter trying to pass here, Uba gets denied. Gets denied, great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Again, not much defense there, another ground strike gets through. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loves it. I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back. You need to be up on an elbow. Right. You need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the back. All right, so now we start to see some visible damage in the form of swelling as the ground and pound strikes continue to land. All right, you don't see this every day, north-south position on the ground. Beautiful transition. There it is, now he's going to mount. Well, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had their moment. Oh. All right, looks like he is going for a hip toss here. Yes, he is, and with amplitude, able to take him down. He got it. You know it. You know that it's coming, but he got it. He does a great job of disguising his technique. He is a fantastic judo player, and he did a great job of getting to his position. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He's 
said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Wide side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of oh. tricks. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, take a seat, bud. Three. Eight, All right, eight, heading back to the corner now, okay. and See? Jones's eye okay. Listen, has never guys, looked worse, back. candidly. The cup man's gonna get in there and hopefully put some end swell on that, or that eye's gonna swell shut, DC. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter, but he has never looked this good. And that is, in, that is partly because Great. his opponent is not defending. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Jones' eye is really not looking good right now, Daniel. Starting to swell shut, and that is going to compromise his vision as this fight continues. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he's blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Jones. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Working out of the half guard here. Great job changing the position and getting that reversal. up and delivers a massive ground and pound punch to the head. Oh, and there's another ground strike for good measure. Oh, pinpoint ground strike by him there, and that one opened up a cut. Down to three minutes now to go on the round. Good dexterity and movement here on the ground to avoid any further damage, courtesy of that ground and pound. Nice job off of his back by Jones. Oh, man, all about location as he continues to attack that swollen area. Referee may be looking for the doctor here soon. Now he's going full mount. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just got to move. Up. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half. Oh, man. I like half guard. Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. Ooh, I'm trying to inside. It's getting in very tight. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth. The submission defense wins this transition. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Johnny Bone. Another ground and pound strike lands. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Uh, that was nice. Every strike he lands, that cut gets worse. Yeah, it's getting worse, and he needed to address it a little bit sooner because now that damage is starting to pile up.
one minute. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch is starting to land from the top position. Might be a submission attempt here. Shane. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Jones's eye is almost swollen shut. It's actually swollen shut at this point in time. They might potentially stop this fight if he has vision issues from here. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. He passes the half guard. Jones is looking to pass out of the half guard here, maybe looking for side control. He's denied. Looking in half guard here, making these shots count. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four, 20 minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and the doctor's not gonna let you continue as a one-eyed fighter. You all can see the swelling around his eye. It is awesome, and I'm not sure how much longer he can stay in this fight. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. Fifth and final round, fourth coming. Nice straight right hand. Jones is punched to the body. That one is blocked. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has sufficient options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded pump, build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back in position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. Oh, big shots from the top. Jones is able to flatten him out. This could very well be the beginning of the end. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Push off his head in posture. This is a terrible position. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Posture's up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge punch to the head there. Oh, moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. What a great fight. Damage doled out on both sides. Perhaps some bonus money coming the way of these two individuals at night 10. 50K, baby. Somebody's getting paid. These two guys are doing a great job in a fight that is so competitive, that is so evenly matched. These two really will be proud of the effort that they have shown inside the octagon tonight. Oh, big elbow. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. Short elbow, short elbow. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. He's doing a great job of recognizing that he's damaging his opponent. He keeps going to that spot. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Jones. He's very accurate in the ground and pound and is showing because he's landing so consistently. Oh, he's got his back. It's hard to watch him target that same area in every
every time he lands, the swelling gets worse. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Jones. And there it is, another strike on the ground gets through. Great work here from the bottom fighter. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. The guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. All right, trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. What an absolute war it has been. Probably gonna hold up in the fight of the year conversation, and I wouldn't be surprised to see both fighters at the hospital later tonight. It just takes me back to certain fights. It takes me back to Michael Johnson against Justin Gaethje. Justin Gaethje versus Michael Chandler. Michael Chandler versus Dustin Poirier. The best fights in the world is what I think about when I look at these two. From the blood, from the damage, to the heart and the spirit that these two have shown. I cannot believe that these guys have made it to a minute left in the fight with that type of ability. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the back? Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Big. So there he is, and still the baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. It wasn't everyone's expectation that it would go the full 25 minutes here tonight, but whatever it takes is what he said during fight week, and that's exactly what he needed here tonight. After five rounds, the heavyweight champion remains the same. Congratulations to the baddest man on the planet.